Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a real life review and test of the MI's portable air compressor. So we will be testing it in real life scenarios. So we will be trying to fill car tires, back, uh, bike tires, cycle tires, scooter tires. Uh, we will be filling footballs, we will be filling uh, balloons and then we will be testing the pressure and all of that. Uh, so let's go ahead, do the test first. After that, we'll be comparing it with what the website actually says. If you go into the MI app and then uh, look at what all this can do, they are actually claiming a lot of things. Uh, so we'll be seeing if this actually does all that or not. So let's go ahead, see the video first, and then we'll be talking about it. Okay, so you've seen the video. So let's discuss the data first. A lot of people keep asking me one, how much time will it take to fill one PSI? So you cannot answer that directly. It depends on the size of your tire. If you have big tires, the PSI, the pressure in that is a lot more than the smaller size tire. Even though you uh, fill it to a certain, maybe a 40 PSI pressure, 40 PSI on a cycle and 40 PSI on a car is lot different it will take like almost seven eight times more time than uh, your cycle style so just remember that now uh, what they claim on the website is let me share the screen with you let's go to the mi store okay so this is what they claim they say that uh, it has presets yes it has presets digital display small portable powerful multi-purpose yes uh, what I don't agree to, everything else is fine, 
What I don't agree to is this part. Enough power to fill five car tires. No, it does not. If you want to fill it to a regular 20 PSI, it's still okay. Maybe two car tires will fill in one go. Uh, but um, if you are trying to fill like 30 PSI, 35 PSI on in one tire, it cannot do it in one uh, one go. It will stop at 29 PSI. You can try starting it again and again. It will not work because the device overheats. So once it overheats, you cannot use it. You will have to keep it uh, um, keep it away for around 10, 15 minutes and then start it again. So that's a thing that nobody is telling you. So we found that out in this test. So that's something um, which is not that great, uh, but that was expected. Such a small device, battery, motor and a pressure uh, valve. So all of that will heat up. So even, even though it's a disappointment, it's expected. That is what happens with small devices. That's why you have big compressors, which can, uh, they have uh, tanks, pressurized tanks. This does not have pressurized tanks. Uh, this actually uh, pumps instantly and gives you uh, the pressure over there. So that's the difference that you have to remember. Now let's talk about what to expect from this. Uh, there are some problems. Let's address that. Let's talk about that. So one thing you would have noticed in, uh, noticed in this video was this does not remain in one place because it's pumping. Uh, the motor is uh, vibrating and the motor actually makes the entire device vibrate. So it does not stay in one place, it keeps moving, keep doing this. So because of that, if you put it on the ground and uh, ground is dirty or whatever it is, it will uh, get scratches at the bottom. So I have a lot of scratches on my device now because uh, it was going on moving. So it was better if they had some kind of rubber padding on this uh, so that uh, when it actually moves there, it does not get scratches and it does not move too much. But anyways. Uh, now, the air tube does get hot. They are not kidding. Uh, they, it's actually written on the website. Uh, the air tube will get hot. Be careful. So when it, uh, when I was pumping the cycle and the uh, ball and stuff, it was fine because the, there wasn't much of pressure being uh, pumped in. But when I went to the bike tire and the car tire especially, the uh, tube actually got very hot. So it actually can burn you. So be careful about that. Uh, now it stops pumping at 11 minutes as we discussed around 11 minutes it will uh, stop pumping because of overheating uh, but that's normal that's what will happen with any battery operated pumps like this uh, okay one more good thing which people have not talked about this actually changes between pressures so uh, it goes from psi bar and kpa so these are three different uh, uh, terms that they use so one bar is equals to 14.5 psi uh, or 100 kpa so when i connected it when i uh, plugged it to the cycle it was on psi but as soon as i uh, connected to a car or a bike it automatically changes to bar so it goes to so in bar words bar terms uh, i need to fill around 2.5 bars on a, a bike or a car so if you are not comfortable with bar keep the mode button pressed it will change and go to psi again so that can be done now the the website claims that this can run for 30 minutes on one charge so what i've noticed is in my test, it did not go beyond 25 minutes. So uh, safely, you can say around 22, 20 minutes, it will run. 25 minutes is a stretch. 30 minutes, it cannot do. That I've already tested and you've seen the video. Now, the good thing though is uh, the device actually charges from 0 to 100 in 3 hours if you use a 2 ampere charger. So uh, 3 hours is actually pretty less, it's not that much. You can actually connect it to your car charger itself. Nowadays you have uh, fast charging uh, um, car chargers also. So you can connect it to that in 3 hours you will have full power. So that's basically it. That's what we found out from this test. Uh, if you need any further um, explanation, if you, if you have uh, more doubts, go ahead, comment. Uh, my information is available uh, in the description and uh, at the end of the video so you can go ahead and uh, message me or email me and we will be talking about uh, all your doubts later on so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video bye bye